is HTC's Windows Phone 8X. This is the first Windows Phone 8 device that we've had a chance to uh, to review. So um, let's dive in. I'm going to show you around a little bit. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that it's a relatively compact looking handset. And the reason for that is it's actually only a 4.3 inch screen, which in this day and age is kind of small for a flagship. But uh, it's a, a 720p uh, 4.3 inch screen, so uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, 341 dot per inch super LCD 2 it's quite the display um, basically the same quality display as what we've seen on the HTC One X um, but reduced in size a little bit and as a result the whole phone is a little narrower and a lot easier to use potentially for some people but it is still a pretty tall phone there's a lot of bezel top and bottom here so um, that's the first thing you'll notice right away you can see obviously that it is running um, you know Windows Phone 8 here and um, I'm going to walk you around a little bit, uh, show you what there is on the front here. The first thing you'll notice is the front-facing camera. It's a 2 megapixel high-quality front-facing camera. Then there is an earpiece here. And what's interesting about the earpiece is that because this entire phone is one piece of uh, polycarbonate that's colored and it's been machined, this actually is part of the machining process and comes through the front glass. Um, so it's a very interesting design. You don't see it here, but at the corner here where my finger is, is actually a notification LED that shines through for charging and notifications. It's so very, very subtle, very well done. These tiny, tiny little holes here are drilled and machined. They're, they're very nice. HTC logo, of course, and at the bottom here you have the three capacitive keys, the back key, the menu, sorry, the uh, Windows key, which is kind of like a home button, and the search button which brings up uh, Bing. In the back, as I mentioned, this is one solid piece of uh, polycarbonate that's been machined very much like the Nokia Lumia's, the first one, the 800 and the 900, as well as the, uh, the HTC One X. So uh, very, very well made, feels fantastic. And as you notice, it's um, not really, a, it's a matte finish, but it's not quite the same finish as, as on the Nokia. It's a soft touch matte finish and it's kind of like a frosty color almost. It's almost a purple, not quite a blue. It's a really handsome color. Uh, this phone also comes in red, in black, and in this beautiful crazy neon green yellow color that is uh, really, really outstanding to look at. So uh, in the back you have the 8 megapixel autofocus camera. This is uh, an f over 2.0 backside illuminated, very high quality camera, same as on the HTC One X and One S single LED flash. You can see there's an embossed here. It's a, kind of a nicely done H silver HTC logo. Of course there's the Beats logo on the bottom and I'm not sure if you can see it here very clearly but tiny tiny little machine holes that hide the speaker, mono speaker. So that's basically the back of the phone and as you can see it's kind of like a pillow. It tapers on all four edges and kind of meets up with this display which itself kind of drapes into the plastic here at the edges. Very, very delightfully done. Very beautiful design. This is something that um, we're really excited about. This phone is gorgeous. And uh, being a little more compact feels really nice in the hand. So, you know, HTC, if you're paying attention, can you make this phone with Android? That would be really awesome. Uh, we really love the form factor, basically, what it comes down to. But it's not all perfect. This corner, as you can see here, the glass isn't perfectly flush with the plastic as it's supposed to be. It is on the other three corners, so that's not quite 100% uh, worked out the manufacturing process yet. But obviously this is an early device. It's not a prototype, but it is uh, very early on in the, uh, in the chain of things. So, walking you around. On the top here you have the power lock key. I notice it's made of anodized aluminum, which is almost the same color as the rest. So this is, again, it's all in the detail, the fit and finish, the, the quality of the materials, the build quality of this is really amazing. Uh, 3.5 millimeter standard headphone jack. On the right hand side you have uh, first a SIM slot here, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a little pinhole for ejecting the SIM. Micro SIM lives in this uh, little drawer right there. Next to it is the volume rocker, again, made out of this uh, anodized aluminum. And then here, further down on the right-hand side, is the camera button. This is a dual detent, proper camera key, uh, what you'd expect from uh, any decent phone that has a camera button. 
And then on the bottom here, you can see there is a micro USB. This does not do MHL and a primary microphone. I'm not sure if I pointed out the secondary microphone here on top next to the headphone jack. But of course, noise reduction, etc. Notice that on the left hand side, there's absolutely nothing on this edge. So that's basically what you're getting in terms of industrial design, look and feel, and then general gist of this device. Now, being a Windows Phone 8 phone, this is powered by dual-core Snapdragon S4 from Qualcomm. This is a 1.5 GHz, so it's basically the same chip you'll find in some of the flagship Android phones, like uh, the Motorola Razr uh, HD or, say, um, the HTC One X uh, US Edition, um, or the Galaxy S3 US Edition, in fact. Um, one gig of RAM, and as you notice, since it's uh, completely unibody, there is no way to remove the battery cover. So there's a sealed battery in here. It's 1800 milliamp hour. There's no micro SD storage. So keep that in mind that it does come with 16 gigabytes of built-in storage, but we feel this is a little on the on the small side these days for a flagship. Uh, 32 would have certainly hit the spot, but 16 non-upgradable, not the best. So. What else do you gain on this phone with Windows Phone 8? Well, you gain in NFC. It has built-in NFC. It has, uh, um, you know, all the sensors, accelerometer, etc., that you'd expect, um, compass. So, in a nutshell, that's that's what the hardware looks like, and that's what you're getting. Um, really, quite amazing design. Love to see this as an Android phone. Um, that neon color is particularly striking. Love the. Uh, um, sorry, the uh, anodized aluminum buttons. Uh, there's also a bit of anodized aluminum around the camera pod here. I don't know if you see it. Again, this is just delightful. It's about 10 millimeters thick, so it's actually a pretty thick phone, but because it's designed to look like a pillow and it actually is stable enough when it's resting, so you, you're not going to have it rock back and forth. They've done a very, very good job with uh, with the ergonomics because of that. The only nitpick we'd have is that buttons are so flush and hard to find by touch that you never really know, you know, have I hit the power lock key, um, etc. So that's something that could possibly use some improvement. Um, so I've talked about all the bits and pieces of hardware, the details. Um, let me give you a bit of a comparison with some other existing Windows Phone 7 devices and maybe some, uh, you know, some other uh, devices from, from HTC. So. First up, we have the Lumia 800. And so this is the, you know, from a year ago, Lumia 800 um, in pink, in beautiful magenta, and you can see the color there. Very, very nice. So this is a matte finish as well, but it's not a soft touch finish. It's more of a kind of solid feeling to the touch, where this is kind of very soft. Um, in thickness, they are just going to lock the screens here. They are very similar. Um, again, this is a one centimeter thick phone. Uh, so it's not the thinnest, but it feels fantastic in the hand because of its shape. Another thing I wanted to mention, and I'm bringing it up here because the Lumia 800 is obviously an HSPA Plus device. Um, this um, is also, sorry, finding the power key. See, this is what I'm saying. It's hard to tell if you've touched the power key. Um, this is an HSPA Plus model. This is the global version of the uh, uh, 8X. So uh, no LTE on this particular model, um, but there will be a uh, LTE version for the US for AT&T as well. So perhaps other parts of the world will get that as well. There is going to be a version of this for uh, T-Mobile with a dual carrier 42 megabits per second HSPA Plus as well. Um, another phone I wanted to show you, obviously, another Nokia, which is very popular, or was very popular as a Windows Phone device, if Windows Phone devices can be popular, is the Lumia 900, and there it is. As you can see, this is how you can tell that despite the 4.3 inch screen, which is not a very big screen, this is a big handset. It's almost as big as the, uh, maybe a little bigger than Lumia 900. Uh, flipping them over, this is what they look like. And we all know the Lumia 900 is a pretty big and thick phone. You'll notice this as soon as I lock the screen here um, and show you the thickness comparison. This is an even thicker phone. Uh, not by much, but it just looks and feels thicker and heavier as well. So now, um, another phone I wanted to show you in comparison is 
the um, HTC Titan 2 because obviously it's the last phone that HTC made that is a Windows Phone device and this is Windows Phone 7 again obviously um, and then you can see how, that it's actually much more compact. The Titan 2 is a very gigantic phone for its time. It's kind of from the last generation in design language from HTC but here they are side by side and flipping them over, you can see the, the gradient on the HTC, the giant 60 megapixel camera. But you know, to be frank, this 60 megapixel camera isn't particularly better than the 8 on the, uh, uh, on the 8X. This is a really amazingly good camera for, uh, you know, for, for its size. It's like the 1X. I mean, we're very, very happy about, about the camera. So in thickness, um, again, you know, there's no contest here. We've improved significantly since the last time HTC gave us a Windows Phone device here. I don't have a radar to show you, sadly. Um, but the next logical uh, comparison, I think, will be the um, HTC One X, which I have upside down. So that gives you an idea um, of, you know, the global One X here compared to the um, Windows Phone 8X from HTC. The, these are the two flagships. There is a One X Plus now. But these are the two flagships, essentially, from the company, Android versus Windows Phone 8. You can see that despite the 4.7-inch and 4.3-inch screens, they are the same height, so there's more bezel on the Windows Phone 8X um, than on the 1X. And flipping them over, um, you can see a very similar camera and camera pod, but it's much more recessed. It's very well done here. And then uh, thickness comparison, the in inevitable thickness comparison, um, the One X is a thinner phone. It doesn't look like it is, but it actually is something like 8 point something millimeters versus just one, almost 10 millimeters for, uh, well, 10.1 millimeters for the 8X. So the other thing I want to quickly show you was the display quality. Um, both are Super LCD 2, both have the same resolution, uh, 720p. This is 4.3 inches, this is 4.7. And I'm just going to put this in the in the icon, so have a, kind of a better point of reference. Uh, maybe swipe this over, so you get a lot of black. You can see the blacks are very similar. Again, these are both Super LC2, but when I start inclining them a bit, you'll notice that the viewing angles on the One X are still better. And this is very odd because it's the same display technology, so we're not quite sure why. I mean, it's close, but. Um, both are, have the display laminated to the glass so that there's a very thin, if any, air gap or gap between them, or no gap in this case. So, you know, there's some slight differences here, but really you're getting a pretty awesome display. So in terms of software, really, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of stuff has changed, obviously, but in overall it pretty much feels the same as Windows Phone 7. You have the same kind of design with the tiles, uh, performance and battery life have remained unchanged pretty much despite the dual core processor and the, uh, of course, you benefit from a better display. So definitely still super snappy as you'd expect. Uh, Windows Phone has always been uh, pretty snappy. That's not what I wanted to do, but I just wanted to scroll up and down and show you here. Um, no complaints really. Uh, there's a few nice little tricks. Again, uh, uh, Brad will uh, walk you through um, some of the details of the software um, in, uh, in his software review. But you can read uh, size tiles now, so you can make it smaller, or you can make it double wide, or you can go back to like the regular square. So that's one of the nice little features. It helps you customize your screen a little more.